Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Inform Makeup Maven's V Review series. Today I'm going to be talking about CoverGirl's Lash, Lash Blast Fusion Mascara. What a mouthful. So it comes in this funky purple tube and I must admit that grasping this mascara is a little bit difficult for me. I find that holding it because of its curved shape does feel a little bit slippery in the hands and when you're applying it it can feel that you're not really in control of the brush so let's take a look under the lid to see what the mascara is all about now despite the ergonomics of the actual tube design the actual brush is quite fat and stubby so it's a, a lot easier to control once you're applying the mascara to your lashes now as you can see here the applicator does feature the plasticky or the silicon type plastic bristles that are starting to feature in more and more mascaras. Lash Blast Fusion is not your typical volumizing mascara in that first of all your first coat goes on really evenly and it just subtly builds but after a few coats that's when you really do start to see the effects and best of all it doesn't tend to clump after three or four coats of mascara which is really good and you can really get that elongation in the mascara because of the pliability of the formula now as you can see here in view at the tip of the applicator you can see it's quite densely pigmented as well and the viscosity of the actual formulation is apparent there it's quite thick um, another thing that's really good about this mascara as well is that it retails for under eight bucks which is a very good for a volumizing mascara and also a drugstore fine it also features covergirl's patented mascara formulation whatever that is what I find with a lot of the covergirl mascaras is they do not smear smudge flake or um, budge at all even if they're not the waterproof formulas as many of you who read my blog know I'm a huge fan of the professional mascara by covergirl and lash blush fusion is actually no exception now if you had to choose between the three different types of la um, fusion lash blast mascaras that they currently have available I think there's the orange one and the yellow one and then this one I would choose this one over the other two because this really does a great job in terms of balancing length and volume together. The yellow one isn't so great because it does a good job lengthening, but in terms of trying to build that volume, it's not going to get you where you want to get. This one is the happy medium out of the three. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this mascara is the actual tube design because I do find that it can be a bit difficult to grasp if you're in a hurry and you're trying to really slather on the mascara on the go. Having said that, the applicator brush is a real winner here as well as the winning mascara formula. Overall, I give this mascara a 4 out of 5. One point is lost because of the packaging design. This is IMM signing out and thanks for tuning in.